Welcome to Mystic Intuition. This is for the sign of Virgo for October 15th through the 30th. Keep in mind that time is fluid, so whenever you view this is when you're meant to hear the message. If it doesn't resonate with you, please check your moon, rising, or Venus sign for love. Um, I do my readings in a direct order, so they'll be or um, uploaded from Pisces through to Aries if you're waiting for a reading. I'll do my best to get the cards in view for you here. I will be holding them up, however, so that you can see them. I do my layout a little bit differently. I'll do six cards for you, six cards for your person. I will do three from the bottom as the overall energy of the connection. And then I will be doing clarifiers as well. The first two cards for each of you is your thoughts toward the connection, what's in your mind, what are you thinking. The second two cards for each of you is your heart space, what you desire within this connection. And the last two cards for each of you is your actions and intentions toward each other. Overall energy, we have the Knave of Chalices, the Four of Chalices, and the Chariot. Under that, we have the Justice card. So, with Justice here, this is about restoring balance. This is the card of Libra. I will be listing the signs here. If you hear the sign of the person you're dealing with, all the better. If not, that may be an element in their chart, or that may just be the overall energy that they're embodying. So, this is about balance. This is about restoring some kind of balance in a situation. With the Knave of Chalices, the Five of Chalices, and the Chariot, we have a lot of water energy up here. So we have uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have Cancer again with the Chariot card. So this is about somebody coming in with some type of an apology. Somebody coming in with an offer of love. With the Knave of Chalices, this is someone who maybe in the past, um, if there was any kind of distance between the two of you, or the connection went bad at any point, uh, maybe if you disconnected from each other or separated, they may have been paying a lot of attention, or you, um, to the spilt cups. Because the Five of Chalices talks about um, not looking at what's still behind you, just looking at the, what's what you've lost in front of you. But I feel like someone is kind of charging in here. They're coming in full force with the chariot card. This is about fast forward movement within this deck. You see his sword's drawn. He's ready for truth. He is charging in. In your thoughts for this connection, we have the death card, the card of Scorpio, and the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So if something may have ended, sometimes the... The death card can indicate a rebirth. In this deck, I generally just see it as some type of ending. So, whether it was an end to this relationship, or a, an ending of a job, or a friendship, or um, just a way of thinking, it could have been. It could have been anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship or, or an actual death of someone, um, but something ended. And with the Queen of Wands here, um, this can be a mistress card for some readers. Um, she's a very passionate, very sexy, very beautiful woman. So if you're the feminine, you may be embodying this energy. Right next to her, we have the King of Wands. So we have divine counterparts here. We have a match. Um, he is a little impulsive, I would say. Um, he's very passionate, very steamy. You also have the King of Pentacles. So Virgo, you may be choosing between two people. You may be choosing between, in your heart space, you may be choosing between someone financially abundant and someone passionately abundant. Or this is just your person you're thinking of or the energy that you're embodying. You may be looking at this person and seeing your person as someone who is not only very, um, very attractive, um, but also someone who's very financially stable. That may be how you're viewing your connection with this person. In your actions and intentions, we have Temperance, the card of Sagittarius, and we have the Fool, Aries. 
So with the full most decks, it's a very optimistic energy. He's, you know, about to walk her off the cliff. His uh, head is in the clouds. He's very optimistic. In this deck, he's a little fearful, you see. He's just, he wants a new beginning, but he's just afraid to kind of look up. He's, you know, he's kind of blocking his head. He's not really looking around. Um, so he wants a beginning, but he's just not, he's a little bit afraid to take that leap. And with Temperance here, it's about balance. It's about restoring. It's about healing. It's about restoring that justice that we're looking for with that Libra energy right there. Um, in your person's thoughts is the Three of Chalices and the world. This is about a cycle coming to a completion. With the Three of Chalices, this could be a reunion, a reconciliation for some of you. It could be a celebration for some of you. Um, if you recently got back together with this person, or this also could indicate a third party situation. So your person may be in a relationship with someone else, Virgo, and they, they're thinking about a completion here. In their heart space is the Two of Swords and the Empress. So the Two of Swords is in traditional uh, decks, it's like right away, it would be a woman wearing a, a blindfold, not being able to see the outcome, and having swords in two different directions, not knowing where to go. And here it's about conflict, because the sort of swords are put down and they're just uh, toppled over wrestling here. They're just, and I think this is a struggle within yourself, um, or your person. They're just very conflicted. They're pulled. They don't really know. They can't really see. They're kind of caught up in this, in this confusion. They're not really thinking clearly. But with the Empress here, I think in their heart space, um, they see the feminine energy, if you're the feminine or if they are, they see the feminine energy in this connection as someone very nurturing, very loving, embodiment of all the queens. They see her as um, someone who's very compassionate, very nurturing, very kind, very creative, very beautiful, very abundant. And in your person's actions and intentions towards you, Virgo, we have the Nine of Chalices and the Sun card. This is so beautiful. I almost don't even want to clarify it. <laughs> so, with the Nine of Chalices here, you are their wish fulfillment, Virgo. They see you as emotional fulfillment. And with the Sun card, this is the card of Leo, they, um, the Empress is also Taurus, by the way, um, they see you as everything. They see you as everything. They see you as someone who could give them everything they've been looking for. We are going to clarify. I'm a little bit afraid to. It's just so beautiful. Uh, let's see. So in your um, thoughts about this connection with the Queen of Wands and the Death card, we have the Wheel. Things are starting to turn for you, Virgo. Um, this is about divine timing. This is about... Um, It's destiny with the wheel. It's destiny. Something had to, a cycle had to end. Maybe for so you could that like you could rec, a cycle had to end so that you two could reconcile and come back stronger. Maybe that's what we're now that they lost you. They cried over your those spilled cups. They cried over that they're coming back with this apology towards you. They see you as this beautiful energy. They see you as fulfillment. They had to lose you to see your worth, which is sad, but sometimes it's, it's the case. Um, in your heart space, Virgo, with the King of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, I mean the King of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands. So you're feeling very defensive. Your heart is very guarded. You know, you're, you, if this was a situation where it ended previously, your friends and family might be saying, don't go back to him, you know, but you see this, you see this, uh, you see him as the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles. You see him as someone very passionate, someone very grounded you see this as a stable connection with this person and you're very defensive about this connection in your actions and intentions the fool and the temperance card we have the three of wands so you're wanting to take a risk you're wanting to restore balance but you may be waiting there may be distance between you you're just kind of in a stagnant energy just waiting for the right time to make your move or for your person to come towards you with this apology or this loving offer Clarifying the Three of Chalices and the World card for your person's thoughts is the Justice card. So yeah, they, they see a completion here. Maybe they had to choose previously between lovers or um, 
they just needed to reconcile with you but they're ready to restore balance they see a completion here in their heart space clarify the two of swords and the empress is the knight of wands this is someone charging in passionately towards you virgo and here you see him charging straight for the empress he's looking straight at her he is he is made up his mind he is very he's coming hot um it can be a player card but i feel like the way that this person is viewing you though i feel like you know just keep your guard up but i feel like this person which i feel like you already are but but this person is wanting to do right by you this time around but let's see if they're how their actions will play out towards you with the nine of chalices and the sun we have the queen of swords so this person may be afraid that you're going to come in cold to them that you're going to come in that if they come in approaching you with this passionate offer that you're going to cut them off without them even getting a word in that may be what they're fearful of but they see you as this abundant energy they see you emotionally fulfilling they see you as their everything and it may have taken them losing you to figure that out as sad as that is and then here with the queen of cups this is um someone who is very um emotional at this time this could be you or your person this is someone who is looking at this they're looking down they're looking with so much love so much sympathy so much compassion they're just their their heart is all over the place they're so emotional about this connection and they don't they don't want to let go they they want to come in they want to come in correct they want their person to come in but i feel like this person is going to be approaching you virgo and they're i think they're they're really afraid that you're going to cut them off but you just need to be a little guarded, a little slow with this person because they may be coming in sometimes with the Knight of Wands. He comes in as a player in and out. It's a little hot and cold. He may come in for the passion and then he's gone. But I do think he's 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 coming in correct. He or she, I think they're coming in correct this time. I do think they're seeing you in your Empress energy as they should have all along. And that is all that I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I thank you so much for watching.